The race for governor hasn't generated a lot of excitement thus far, but as the August primary approaches, the candidates are stepping up their campaigns. And today, Democratic candidate Gwen Graham got a big boost. Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, has her story. This is a big day for our campaign. Gwen Graham has needed a big day to spark a plotting campaign, and today she got one. Today, I'm proud and humbled to support and endorse my friend, Gwen Graham. Murphy, a former congressman who ran for the Senate against Marco Rubio and lost, was thinking about running for governor himself, but today backed Graham. Not only does she uh, care about these issues and, and right there with us, but she's got the proven track record to get results in Tallahassee, right? to find that middle ground to get things done. Graham is a centrist, maybe too conservative for Democrats who are moving to the left. Democrat Gwen Graham. In Congress, Gwen applied lessons from her father. Bob. Graham put her first TV ad on the air only yesterday. Nothing controversial. Philip Levine for governor. Philip Levine has been running ads for months, spending an estimated $10 million, and he's now ahead in most polls. Those polls are not aligned with what our polling shows. I mean, I don't worry about polls. I worry about waking up every single day. Uh, and working hard and meeting as many Floridians as possible. Five Democrats are running for governor, Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum, former Congresswoman Graham, Palm Beach billionaire Jeff Green, former Miami Beach Mayor Levine, and Winter Park businessman Chris King. Is Patrick a potential lieutenant governor? There will be a time to talk about that. Patrick Murphy could indeed wind up on the ticket with Graham, but first she's got to win the primary and that will be decided in late August. In the newsroom, Michael Putney, Local 10 News.